Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Mary. In this video today, I'm going to review the Himalaya Neem Face Wash. I have been using it since one week to review this product, but before that, I have used it for many years uh, throughout college. Uh, this was my go to face wash and then i started trying different ones clean and clear and other uh, sls free face washes first section is the price and quantity it comes in a lot of different quantity and prices as you can see which is a good thing so you can go for the smallest one just in case you haven't tried it yet next part is the packaging the one which i have is comes in a pump packaging this is 400 ml quantity the 200 and 400 ml quantity comes in pump packaging and rest all other packaging they come in a flip open cap type packaging talking about the texture and the consistency it is a bright green color gel type texture it forms a lot of bubbly sort of lather talking about the ingredients they have mentioned ingredients on some of the packaging and on some they have not which is very strange here is the complete ingredient list of this face wash I'm going to break it down a little bit now so these are all of the surfactants that they have used in this face wash there are some that are mild okay the third ingredient itself is neem leaf extract which is a good thing because it's so neem is um, one of the key ingredients of this face wash neem has a lot of antibacterial and antimicrobial properties so it's good for or, um, acne breakouts and treatment of acne next ingredient is glycerin glycerin is a humectant and it's a good ingredient for the skin next this ingredient is turmeric root extract now turmeric is great it also has antimicrobial and anti-inflammatory properties and uh, it has that little bit of skin brightening effect it also helps in regulating the sebum production next these two are stabilizing ingredients and these two ingredients are used as pH adjusters. These are all of the preservatives that they have put in this face wash. Um, phenoxyethanol is fine, but the rest of the preservatives can be um, irritant for some people. So if you are allergic to any of these um, preservatives in this face wash, then you can skip this. So finally, these are all of the colors that they have used in this face wash. Okay, that's about it from the ingredients list now uh, talking about the review of this face wash this is a sulfate based face wash so if you have dry skin and if your skin is very sensitive and doesn't like uh, sulfates you should go for a sulfate free options another thing is it, this face wash is suitable only for normal to oily skin so if you are dry skin this will not work it will be too drying for your skin another thing is since it, this is a neem based face wash it can get a little bit drying after a few hours so make sure you moisturize your face after using this face wash the ingredient list looks good there are a lot of skin benefiting ingredients apart from a few preservatives so if you if your skin is fine with those preservatives then this is a nice affordable face wash so this is one of the most affordable uh, sls based face wash that is available in the indian market i feel it's better than some of the other brands that makes sls based face wash but i do feel that there are a lot of uh, better options available in the market that are SLS free and have more mild surfactants and better preservatives. I feel that they should have changed their formulation a little bit to suit more sensitive skin people. They should have used some uh, mild surfactants and uh, used some uh, non-irritating preservatives in their formula. So yeah, that is my overall review for this face wash. I hope you liked this video and if you did, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. Make sure you are subscribed to my channel for more such review videos for skincare tips and makeup related videos. You can find a lot of these videos from the description box below and yeah that's it i'll see you guys in the next one bye